he is somebody who uh, has great organizational abilities. He can handle people and situations really well. Uh, even if the sky is falling on your heads, you know, he knows how exactly to handle the situation. He always has an alternative plan, something that um, he wanted to work out in a certain way or, or something that he wanted to do in a certain way. If that is not possible, then he immediately has a backup plan, which, you know, is great. He's also very open to suggestions. He's also, he gives you enough space. And meanwhile, whenever you, whenever you want guidance and you say, you know, sir, how do I do this? Because I don't know. He will show it to you and do it because he's he's a very good actor himself. Very planned, very meticulous. Keeps a very uh, nice atmosphere on, on on the sets. Knows the uh, the medium very well. Um, and then we had Sejal, our DOP, who is uh, a great help to uh, to Vipul because um, he's really fast and he's brilliant with his job. The kind of shots that Vipul has conceived and whatever he he wanted to do in this film and. The amount of shots he's taken per scene, I don't think uh, it would have been po possible if uh, Sej if uh, Sejal Shah was not there in the film. Hello, hey, hello. Hello. Akilesh. Gary. Take it, sir. Thank you. Go. He's a great guy to work with. Um, he is a unique personality and, and, and working with him was just fun. I mean, we all gelled well together. It, it was like, you know, this whole, whole gang of buddies just working on a film, having a lot of fun. I understand a little bit of photography, so I knew day one what he was doing and how he was doing it. And uh, I told him on day one that uh, I, th I, th I think you're doing great. And, uh, and that's, what sh that's what what is showing today, the way he's captured London. Uh, it looks like one, it's, it easily looks like one of the biggest films uh, made uh, uh, in the recent times. He loves Vipul and Vipul loves him back and together uh, they're awesome and he hates inefficient people. He cannot stand inefficiency. He says, if you don't do it, then I'll do it myself. I think after this film it will be very difficult for me to get his time because uh, he's going to be so busy with big films that will come his way. I think uh, he, he's going to be a big revelation to the world, to the Indian cinema uh, at least. So I think uh, all in all, I had a great team working with me. Suresh Nair and Ritesh Shah, they've written Namaste London and Sing is King with me. Um, they have proved themselves as a team, we worked out very well. Uh, Amitabh Shukla, the editor, I feel um, has been instrumental in, uh, in making a lot of scenes that were shot absolutely uh, rubbish into uh, you know into something which is very very visually very very appealing uh, for example um, there is a sequence uh, where uh, at the airport in the security um, Salman's clothes had to be taken off by the security people and I had some half an hour left in my day and and um, the airport authorities were standing on my head and I had to just wrap the shooting in half an hour and it was a good one and a half minute sequence with lots of cuts and all. So I just went ahead and shot something without realizing that it is good, bad, whatever. And I was always sure that I'll have to reshoot. But the way Amitabh has edited that sequence is become one of the most hilarious sequence in the film. So I have a very strong team. I had great choreographers. I had Remo choreographing my concerts. I couldn't have asked for anybody better than that. The concerts had to look you know, the, the dream in our, our vision was that we want to have a concert which is going to be 90,000 people. And uh, we had a huge VFX team working on it. But to imagine that how that stadium is going to look with those 90,000 people. And imagine that and capture, it, capture every shot keeping that in mind. And then while everything comes together, it looks awesome. I think that was the biggest challenge for Remo. And when I came to London being intimidated, well, that's for sure. More, more than being intimidated, you could see that these people were so experienced and they had done 
this is their what they've been doing for their life and uh, you just feel like you don't want to uh, mess up you want you want to just do your job fine and not disturb this whole bigger thing that's happening but they were really sweet to us like salman bhai and ajay sir were i don't even know where to start because there wouldn't be no words to say because they were really amazing with ranveer jain and myself ranveer jain and aditya both are uh, vjs now they're working in um, in london dreams um they they are part of the same band uh, lovely boys i had a great time uh, we used, i used to hang out with them every single night after pack up um we used to go out for dinners and they used to come to my room and uh, <coughs> them must mola type killer ke hain jo I was told that Salman is, you know, moody and he comes late, and Ajay uh, works only for 10 hours, and after 10 hours he won't shoot for you. He won't shoot on Sundays. Uh, millions of stories that I had heard about both of them. They all proved wrong. Uh, they both worked brilliantly for me, and uh, I am very happy that you know I've I've started my life with Amit Ji and Akshay, who are extremely disciplined. Uh, now I've got two more. fantastic actors uh, with whom i bond very well i gel very well mm. on the sets we are absolutely fantastic we understand each other because when you are working with new people for salman and ajay to accept me as a director should have must have been a challenge ajay has his reputation to be a fine star which nobody had warned me about so here i am uh, my first schedule of london dreams in london early morning i'm getting ready in my vanity van and my whole van starts shaking obviously it can't be an earthquake in london so somebody is banging at my door and i ask my assistant okay please see what it is and he opens the door and this huge guy muscular probably yeah. six, and a, uh, six and a half feet or i don't know he barges in starts yelling at me and really comes intimidatingly close And somewhere in my head, I'm thinking, no, this is surreal because it cannot happen on a controlled set like this. But what is going on here? So he is going on yelling and shouting, and so I'm thinking, at least you know, sans lene ke liye he'll take a break, and then I will speak. So finally, all his dialogues are over, and I say, thank you so much for your entertainment, sir. Now, if you please step out, I can get ready well, for my shot. Brave, brave lady, you very, very brave lady. Yes, come to know about. we all got along very well i think we were there in london for something about more than nearly 45 50 days and uh, i think we all were very comfortable with each other we did our own bit we went out partying we worked we uh, didn't feel like working also some days so it is fun i had to put london dreams into one sentence it would be one of the most amazing uh, experiences of my life and i learned so much and london dreams is a- absolutely a wonderful experience i for sure can say that this has been the best working experience of my entire career there was only one proviso in the entire making of london dreams no glitches no compromise a zero error 100% perfect film to say that the intensity of the team how high it was Uh, when we were about to start the shooting the world economy started crashing or rather crashed very badly and indian cinema started feeling the heat of it and uh, we had two options a was to go ahead and make the film that we had set out to make or b to accept certain pay cut which was severe um, and me salman ajay we all sat down and it was a 5 minute decision both of them told me we pull forget about the money just go ahead and make 
the film that we all agreed to make. I think it was fantastic and, uh, and now I just hope that the audience also thinks it's fantastic. So I am keeping my fingers crossed and I am praying that you all love the film and it does not disappoint you as many films this year have and this one pleases you, gives you the satisfaction that you invested your three hours into my film um, and those three hours are are satisfying enough for you to go back and feel happy. Love is stupid. No, no, no. Here, here, the girls are here. Will you come to the transit?